Hello, in this video we're going to give an example on working with the central limit theorem for means. John is shopping for wireless routers and is overwhelmed by the number of available options. In order to get a feel for the average price, he takes a random sample of 75 routers and finds that the average price for this sample is $75 and standard deviation is $25. Let's stop here and try to digest what the information that we've gotten. We're told that he's taking a random sample of 75 routers, that means n equals 75. It's always good practice to kind of note what you're reading as you go along using proper notation. The average price for this sample, so that's a sample mean is $75, meaning x bar is 75 as well, and the standard deviation is $25. This is the sample standard deviation, so s equals 25. Based on this information, how much variability should he expect to see in the mean prices of repeated samples? So we're looking at variability in mean prices, each containing 75 randomly selected wireless routers. Since we're asked about variability in mean prices, we should immediately think about the standard error, which we know the, that can be calculated as sigma, the population standard deviation divided by square root of n. In this case, we don't have sigma, but we can estimate it with our best case, our san sample standard deviation, and divided by the appropriate um, sample size square root, plus 25 divided by square root of 75, yielding $2.89. This is the amount of variability he should expect between sample means of each containing 75 randomly selected wireless routers. Now let's think about what can we do with this information. Let's move on to part B. A consumer website claims that the average price of routers is $80. Is a true average of $80 consistent with John's sample? So in this question, we have a claim of an average price of $80, and we want to see is this consistent with John's sample. It is very possible that the claimed average, while might be true, might not be exactly equal to his average, but the question is, is it close enough to be considered consistent, or is it far enough to be cons considered unusually high in this case? So once we start thinking about is this observation unusual, let's try to remind ourselves the rule. Any observations more than two standard deviations away from the mean will be considered unusual, or at least should be flagged and reconsidered. So let's find out how many standard errors, since we're dealing with means here, we want to focus on the standard error. How many standard errors is 80 away from 75? To calculate that, we simply subtract the two. A uh, difference of $5 basically means 1.73 standard errors away from John's sample. Since this is less than two, we can say that this is in fact consistent with John's average. Um, this difference of $5 might simply be due to sampling ra uh, random sampling variability. I hope that this has been useful for um, working with the central limit theorem and using that to make some decisions. Thank you.